my mom would always say your job is not to focus on the differences, but the similarities. And my parents reminded me and my siblings every day how blessed we were to live in America. that we have today. And I'm confident that the American people agree. We're ready, ready to move past the stale ideas and faded names of the past. And we are more than ready for a new generation to lead us into the future. But my parents knew. And every day they reminded my brothers and my sister that even on our worst day, we are blessed to live in America. But that was then. Now America is falling behind. Our future is slipping. Our leaders are failing us. And no one embodies that failure more than Joe Biden. This is not the America that called to my parents. And make no mistake, this is not the America I will leave to my children. And take it from me, the first minority female governor in history, America is not a racist country. I always go back to the book of Joshua. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for God will be with you wherever you go. I was born and raised in South Carolina, so I have seen the very best of our country. People here threw out the old, tired political establishment and demanded accountability for their tax dollars. Industry reports called us the beast of the Southeast. In case you didn't notice, the liberal media's heads are exploding about my run for president. And we all know why. The media can't stand the fact that I'm a conservative. Think about it. I'm a woman, I'm a minority, and I'm the daughter of immigrants. I am proof that liberals are wrong about everything they say about America. But Don says women have to be in their 20s or 30s to be in their prime. And the left say we're sexist. Liberals are the most sexist by far. I'm running for president to stop America's downward spiral toward socialism and end the self-loathing that has taken over our country. I'm running for president to renew an America that's strong and proud, not weak and woke. One of my heroes, Margaret Thatcher, said, the problem with socialism is you end up running out of other people's money. When it comes to destroying our freedom, the socialist Democrats will never stop. It's time for the American people to stop then. We're told our country is flawed, rotten, and full of hate. Joe and Kamala even say that America's racist. Wokeness is a virus more dangerous than any pandemic hands down. I'll make America strong at home. We'll have safe streets, secure elections, and a strong economy that lifts up everyone, not just a select few. And I'll restore our strength in the world. I'll make our armed forces of the United States more powerful and capable than ever before. Never forget, a strong military doesn't start wars, a strong military prevents wars. When I'm president, we will stop giving money to countries that hate America. Let's save our country from weakness and wokeness. Let's bring back a nation that's strong and proud. If anyone can do it, it's the American people. And I have faith that we will prove it again.
Thank you and God bless America. Republicans have lost the popular vote in seven out of the last eight presidential elections. That has to change. Joe Biden's record is abysmal, but that shouldn't come as a surprise. The Washington establishment has failed us over and over and over again. I'm Nikki Haley, and I'm running for president.